so today not today actually this is the first podcast on my channel here and i have been joined by someone who you have looked a lot of times during the match and i can guarantee you he has been to the stadiums here in india more than a lot of us indians so please welcome jack jigging thanks for you having me thank you so how has it been for you in india so far during this ipl uh it's been unreal and i myself i've made so many memories and created new ones new friends and i've just had an absolute wonderful journey it's almost coming to an end but i've still got you know one more game left to attend to and just yeah watching the ipl i've been privileged enough to see some absolute fantastic games csk versus mumbai you know where doni hit those three sixes and then when travis head scored you know his century against rcb and sunrise has pulled off what the bet the highest ever ipl score so for me yeah it's was been, that your favorite game for well, yeah yeah that that was my favorite game by far the um sunrises versus rcb just purely because travis head and patty cummins scored three wickets got three wickets as well so it's a added bonus and anything about your i know it's really hot here at this time in india uh, but anything uh, uh, you know you liked here in india so far in this tour about the people food uh, the places you visited yeah so we're currently sitting on the beach in mumbai and i'm absolutely sweating even just walking down it it's so humid but No what I've liked this trip uh is I've just yeah been able to meet so many new people including yourself and that for me has been That's a highlight of the trip and something which I'll take back to Australia still you know catch up how are you going you know, I know I'd love to FaceTime them see you know show be out to show them my hometown because everywhere I've gone in India everyone showed me their hometown and now for me it's my time to give back and show you where i come from oh, so yeah that's great awesome so i'll tell you actually okay when i first saw you it was before the world cup during india versus australia there was a odi series before the world cup and um you know that is when we saw you for the first time and this guy was like you know he's in the first match second match third match he's there for the world cup is there and after the world cup also there was a t20 series india versus australia and uh, i i think you watched all of those and so tell us about the decision that you made that to come to india and you know what made you come to india and how was the uh, was the decision for you yeah so my first ever time watching the cricket over here was for the bgt series back in last uh march um so yeah 2023 hmm. and that was my first time watching the cricket and i just fell in love with it i knew it was something i was of going to come back 100% and be able to replicate and it was lucky enough that when i went so last year 2023 the world cup was later that year and that was just absolutely um unreal for me to be able to experience what two and a half months over here uh and then watch the T20s afterwards and it was even more sweet to watching those five T20 games mm. because Australia won the world cup so it was you know it didn't matter if we won the series or not it was more about being able to just go around india and remind them who the six time world cup winners are okay we are not going to talk about the finals okay that's nothing i don't want to shut down my podcast we're not going to talk about the finals <laughs> Okay so let's jump in into the IPL so just the last game okay how many runs were chased down 263 uh what do you think about this new format is it just because of that impact player rule is it because of the pitches is it because of batsman and are you happy with this 260 270 runs in every game uh okay for me yeah i i don't mind it i think it will bring crowds you know and also it just provides an atmosphere when the batsman's going off hitting fours and sixes and you know who wants to be a fast bowler in this tournament to be honest that's to be honest because they apart from bumrah uh, he's the exception every fast bowler is getting absolutely destroyed but no i love seeing the fours and sixes being hit and i think it's absolutely amazing that in 20 overs we've had scores of what 250 260 you know last night as well 260 odd and i just think it's absolutely phenomenal um what the batsmen are doing this tournament and the impact player rule for me uh it it takes away all-rounders i guess yeah um you know the all-rounders don't get to play a part and uh, you see with like sunrisers they 
they um, sub out a bowler, bring in Travis Head, opening the bowling. So it's also tactical moves. And I don't know if I'm 100% with the rule. I'm definitely not against it, but I'm probably more in the middle at the moment, whether I'm still need to just support it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm probably in the middle with it. Maybe because table. you're paying for the tickets and you want to enjoy it and not just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that one word? Well, yeah, I've come over. So I'd, I'd like to see scores of 200 plus. That'd probably, that's a bonus. And yeah, yeah, for obviously 200 plus. I love watching, but yeah, if the, the game's finished. Like the good drop versus Delhi Capitals game, that finished quite early. Delhi just absolutely destroyed him over in Emdabad. But then the reverse fixture where good drop came to Delhi, mm. Um, that was an absolutely remarkable game, you know, Gudra almost pulled one from the, the graphs of defeat and Rashid Khan almost did it, just, just fell short, but yeah, we've, had, we've been privileged to some remarkable games this uh, IPL season. So you don't have any problem if Stark is getting hammered by Karan Sharma for sixes in the last over? No, I don't. So, well, when it, the T20 World Cups this year, let's just use that as an example. Starkey, That's going to be different Stark, right? Yeah, Starkey will always come and perform for Australia. He will, like like Glenn Maxwell as well, he hasn't done anything this IPL, let's be honest there. That's what she would vote it. <laughs> Glenn Maxwell has yeah, done nothing this IPL, but when it comes to playing for Australia, the, the national players just, I wouldn't, you know what, I would say they prefer doing that. They prefer representing their country than a franchise. That's just that's just how it is. In and do Australia. you think it's vice versa in India? Oh, gee, it's a tough question. Um, I think, in somewhat, yes. Uh, I do believe still that there's no greater privilege than representing your country, and I think for most majority of players, that's the same thing. Although it is really money orientated, this you know, this day and age where people are signing long-term contracts for IPL squads, and not just IPL, but the CSL, um, all those franchises across the world and not playing for their national teams. So I think in the future we'll probably be leaning more towards that, but majority of players I think would much rather play for their national team than just for some franchise. So you know, I heard this somewhere that in India, uh, when a kid comes back home after playing a match, his parents ask him, his or her uh, parents ask uh, them that, uh, how many runs did you score? And in Australia, they asked, did your team lose or win? Is that true? And uh, how is the culture different in Australia dressing room? And I genuinely want to know this as compared to India. What do you think about it? Yeah, so from my personal experience, like I'd, I'd remember, so my dad used to coach, but he'd also, when he'd come and watch, he'd rather, and I think it's just in general, you'd rather team success than individual success. You know, you don't bat for yourself, you bat for your team. You don't bowl for yourself, you bowl for your team. Yeah, it's good to get some individual accolades, but at the end of the day, it is a team game, and overall, you you want your team to win. And it's like that anywhere in Australia. There's no greater feeling than going out and winning the Div 1, T20 Cup, etc. Because, you know, you, let's be honest, you don't really want to... You, you'd rather have a medallion at the net, around your neck than just say, oh, yeah, I scored 100 on the losing side. Because at the end of the day, you know... Losing teams aren't remembered, it's the winners who are remembered. And individually, you can, yeah, you can, it's, it's great to score, but at the end of the day, you do want your team to win. And that, that is that as a whole in Australia. And that that is 100% correct what you said, where parents do ask, hey, did your team win? It's not all about, you know, how'd you go? It'd be like, hey, oh, did your team win? Etc. Etc. And then maybe at the end, oh, how many runs did you score? But it's always team first in Australia, always team first. What are your expectations? And don't tell me from an Aussie point of view for the T20 World Cup. I, you know, India is looking great, but Australia, Travis Head is in form. Pat Cummins is, you know, always in the form. So, what are your expectations from this T20 World Cup? Uh, well, like honestly, my brain points to potentially South Africa um, doing well because their batting lineup is really good, and they've got a really strong bowling lineup as well. That's something new. So I think South Africa will do well. But also, yeah, Australia performs well in these tournaments. Um, and it depends what mindset they're... They, if, so if they're switched on, they'll win it. There's no other way. And I think we've got a lot of... Like, a lot... Not issues, but just questions whether, you know, is it going to be Fraser McGurk, David Warner opening the batting? Um, those are the questions which need to be asked. And then Marcus Stoinis, obviously, for luck now, he just... 
single-handedly won them the game, so he's back into form. So it's just interesting who gets selected. Uh, and obviously, you know, you can't have Fraser McGurk, Warner, Travis Head. They're all openers, so realistically one does have to, you know, one does have to be left out. Whether it's Warner, I don't know. Fraser McGurk is probably Australia's next best thing when it comes to batting. And you've seen what he's done for his first ever IPL season, and that's just absolutely been remarkable. And then bowling-wise, you've got Stark, Cummins, Hazelwood, I think, and then Zampa is a spinner. So for me, I think Australia looked very strong as well. India, obviously, they look good. Um, you know, Rohit, he's you know when he's on form, he's on form. You got Bumrah. Bowling-wise, I think they've got a few questions whether you know they can handle it like the, the big hitting because when they get when the batters like from Australia we'll say for Australia for example when Travis Head gets on form it's so hard for the Indian bowlers to bounce back like you've seen when he's on form in the IPL so for me honestly I think I think it will be either Australia winning or South Africa which are your t uh, two teams in the finals uh, probably well it depends what happens at group stages so I don't know, I think Australia, well, depends where the finishing. So if Australia and South Africa finish in the same group, I think it will be them in the semis and then India versus Pakistan, potentially, no, they can't finish. So I reckon it'll be, yeah. Pakistan also good, I think, this time. Yeah, there. Pakistan will be good, but I think it might be Australia versus Pakistan and then India versus South Africa in the two semi finals and then potentially maybe another Australia India final, let's see. But we don't want Australia winning. I don't think the odds go together. Yeah, we haven't won enough trophies, to be honest. Yeah. So I think we need a few more trophies. You know, our, our cabinet's looking a little bit empty. We've got, what, six World Cup, a oh. couple of T20 trophies, and then we'll do a WTC. So for us, we need a few more trophies. <laughs> we haven't got a trophy since last 11 years. We genuinely need. Yeah, it's been too long for us as well, since, what, November last year? So we're due a trophy. Okay, Jake, so a lot of uh, fun chat here. So we're going to start with a rapid fire now so i'm gonna ask you a question and you have to answer in just one word or one sentence so your favorite dish in india dish yeah uh haji burfi or something Ka kaju, kaju burfi yeah, we'll oh that. great awesome i think anyone who has come to india should try must try favorite place uh i go mumbai mumbai yeah uh anywhere specific in mumbai just to relax chill I like Marine Drive. Marine Drive. Uh, in the evening. <laughs> in the evening. Most of my shoot videos are shot there. <laughs> so, Mumbai or Delhi? Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah. Delhi lights, watch out. Jack is going for Mumbai. Oh. I, I think this happens only in Mumbai. Yeah. Uh, something which you find in India, uh, which is rare to find in Australia. The... The... the just enormous amounts of traffic on the road. You rarely find that in Australia, and your low hours at 2, 3 a.m. in Australia, that's our peak hours, well, especially in Western Australia where I'm from, at 3 to 4 p.m. So, yeah. So when you think you don't have much traffic, that's Australia's peak hour right there. What is something that you enjoyed most here in India? Uh, probably the people, just meeting so many different people, and then people coming up to me in the cricket stadiums, and saying, hey, how are you? Oh, you're the Australian Sam Curran. Oh, I've seen your videos. So for me, that, that brings no greater privilege than that and something I'm grateful for. Thank you so much, Jack, for you know, taking time and you know, having me here in the podcast. Subscribe to Scoops with Akshay.